What's up? What's up? It's your man, Jimmy Chan. All right, so we're given this uh, beautiful picture here, and I got to figure out what angle one, angle two, and angle three are. So if we look at this, what's given is that I have this angle that's 57 degrees. And I know that this piece right here tells me that this is perpendicular. That means the blue line and the red line intersect each other at a right angle. So that's gonna be 90 degrees, all right? So let's see what do we know, all right? So what I do know is if I look here and I erase most of this, oops, yeah. If I erase most of this, what I know is that angle one and angle three are called what? They're called vertical angles because they're across from each other when it's split with two lines. And they're also equal to each other. So here's what I know. I know that angle one is equal to angle three because those are vertical angles. Okay. Now, if you look right here, if you just focus right here, what do you know? You know that 57 degrees and angle one are going to form a 90 degree angle, okay? So those are gonna be complementary. So we know that 57 degrees plus angle one is gonna give me 90 because that's gonna be complementary. Wow, that was so nicely written. Oops, forgot the Y. Complementary angles, okay? And if we look at angle two, look at this, guys. If I did this, right? The blue and red line is just two lines. So I know that because of this symbol right here that this forms a right angle. So that this angle right here is gonna be nine degrees which is also vertical angles with this, which is angle two, all right? So I also know that angle two is equal to 90 degrees because of the vertical angles, all right? All right, with that being said, let's take a look here. So I got angle one, uh, well, we got we got, already have one answer, right? We already have that angle two is equal to 90 degrees. We have that angle one is going to be, so I got 57 degrees plus angle one, that's equal to 90. So angle one must equal to, when I subtract that 57 over, I'm gonna have a 33 degrees. Okay, so angle one equals 33 degrees. And then up here, I see that angle one is equal to angle three. So therefore angle three must also equal to 33 degrees. So with that being said, let's go ahead and write it out. Angle one equals 33, angle two, equals 90 and angle three is equal to 33 degrees. And there is our answer. And that is going to be choice B. Oopsies, oopsies, oopsies. And there you guys go. If there's any questions, let me know. Talk to you later, see ya.